subsurface is three-dimensional, and although displaying geological cross-sections and geophysical profiles with QGIS is problematic, now I'm going to show how QGIS can be used to integrate information from cross-sections with geological boreholes to build 3D geological models. In the previous video we created shapefiles representing borehole data and used interpolation to convert well tops to raster grids and produce contours. Now we will improve our information about the subsurface by adding interpretation from a geophysical cross-section. First I will add the raster image of the seismic section I want to use in my model. I will create a separate project for interpreting the image and then inputting the interpretation into my model. For the start I need to specify its coordinate system. To resize the image to the dimensions it represents I will use the Translate tool from the GDAL menu. For vertical exaggeration I will make the image 1200 meters in length. My profile is already converted to the depth domain and its maximum depth is 400 meters. Scroll down to the additional command line and use the command shown. The first two values I use represent the minimum x and minimum y coordinates, while the following two represent the maximum values. Set the path for the new raster file and run the process. It is time to add interpretation by translating the measurement points to the location of the seismic interface. 
In the dialog, tick the box, selected features only, in order to translate the point which I have just selected in the attribute table of the sampling points. I am going to start with the borehole location where the geological boundary is known. The new point is saved as a separate shapefile. The first point has moved on my profile. I have already moved the point for borehole 9 at the other end of the profile, and now I am doing the same for the first point next to borehole 1. I select the point in the attribute table. Then in the translate dialog I tick the box, selected features only, to limit the result to one point. When selecting the path to the output file I choose the option, append to layer, which will allow me to include the result in the output file already containing two translated points representing boreholes 1 and 9. I have repeated the same process for the remaining points and now I am translating the last point in a similar way as before. My profile interpretation for the top of Cretaceous is ready and can be included in the model. Before exporting the file however, as I mentioned before I need to rename the Y coordinate as Z or depth. Finally, I am adding the shape file with my interpretation of the top of the Cretaceous from the seismic section. I will add the Y attribute field this time through the layer properties, in order to prepare the file for geoferencing and adjusting the sampling point locations to those along the survey line in my model. Now the interpretation of the top of Cretaceous is ready for display in 3D together with the well tops using plugin QGIS 23JS. The interpretation is displayed at the zero level, therefore I need to adjust the properties of display, particularly set the Z attribute as the depth data. Because my Z values are given as depth below the ground level, I need to set the topographic surface as the reference level for the depth. I will repeat the same process for the interpretation of the top of Paleogene.
Now the interpretation of the top of polia gene is ready to be transferred into my model. I will upload the file with the interpretation and start georeferencing to place it along the section line. After the calibration is completed it is time to display my data in 3D. We will continue to explore the layers of beauty that rock the runway of geological modeling. So don't forget to press like and subscribe. Also write a comment below if you would like me to make a video about anything else.